Hello and welcome to ICSE class 10 maths tutorial. I'm Pesar. Communication gap nahi hona chahiye. Baatcheet hoti rehni chahiye. Aapas mein baatcheet jari rehni chahiye. बातचीत नहीं होने से मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग पैदा हो जाती है गलतफहमी पैदा हो जाती है आइए शायर को सुनते हैं शायर कहता है विचारों को बदलना चाहिए था विचारों को बदलना चाहिए था समय के साथ चलना चाहिए था समय के साथ चलना चाहिए था तिमिर में लुप्त होते जा रहे हैं तिमिर अंधेरा अंधकार तिमिर में लुप्त होते जा रहे हैं जिन्हें दीपक सा जलना चाहिए था जिन्हें दीपक सा जलना चाहिए था यही दूरी तो चिंता का विषय है यही दूरी तो चिंता का विषय है हमें आपस में मिलना चाहिए था हमें आपस में मिलना चाहिए था Thank you. Today's topic is we are solving specimen question paper. First question we have started. It is uh, ICSE 2023 examination specimen question paper mathematics. Question 1 we are doing, there are 15 sub-questions, 10 questions, sub-questions already I have solved. Today in this video from sub-question 11 onwards and the question, I mean 11 sub-question is, question I am reading. The question is, it's from matrices, if 2x01 plus 3 2140 is equal to 88121, then we have to find out the value of x. The value of x is, four options are given. We will solve it and we will see what the value of x is and then that option we will choose, okay? Now, 2x01 plus, take 3 inside, you have 3 multiplied by the matrix 2, 1, 4, 0. So, take 3 inside, I mean each and every element of the matrix will be multiplied by 3. So, 3, 2 is 6. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12, and 3 0 is 0. We multiply. Now, see, because it's an MCQ, so I'm writing like this. See, x, see the position, corresponding elements, x plus 3 is equal to 8. But if it is a 3 mark question, you should first add these two matrices. First, you should write down 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 and then x plus 3 and then 0 plus 12 is 12 and then 1 plus 0 is 1. So you have two matrices and then you uh, equate the corresponding elements, right? So first you should add the two matrices and you will get one matrix and this is equal to this one. Now two matrices are equal, therefore their corresponding elements are equal. All right, ideally we should do like that. But here it is an MCQ, so I am doing uh, directly. X, see the position. First row, second column. First row, second column. First row, second column. So X plus 3 is equal to 8. X plus 3 is equal to 8. Alright? And then you transpose this 3 plus 3 from left hand side to the right hand side. You, you may write down. Uh, if it is not an MCQ question, here yeah, it's. We want only uh, the answer directly. We don't want any working. 
walking we are doing how will you get the answer sometimes you may not guess directly so you have to do some working that's why we are doing it so x is equal to 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 okay so uh, the option d is correct d 5 x is equal to 5 clear okay now the next question 12 sub question is the centroid of a triangle ABC is G67. If the coordinates of the vertices A, B and C are A5, 7, 9 and 5, 7 respectively, then the value of A is, we have to find out the, we have to find out the value of A. Because we are talking about centroid, the formula is if G X Y be the centroid of the triangle, then X is equal to X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3 and Y is equal to Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 by 3. Alright, now here uh, in this question, we are, we are going to take X, Y X, because the three coordinates, the three vertices A, B and C, one is A5 and in place of X there is A and this we have to find out. So that's why we are applying the formula uh, for X coordinates. So X is equal to X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3. Alright, X is equal to X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3. That's the formula. Now in our case, the centroid G67. So X is equal to 6. Alright, so 6 is equal to A, which is X1, plus 7, which is X2, plus 5, which is X3. So X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3. Now, cross multiply, 6, 3 is 18. 18 is equal to A plus 12. So A is equal to 12 minus, so, sorry, 18 is equal to A plus 12. So A is equal to 18 minus 12. 18 minus 12 and that gives you 6. So A is equal to 6. We got A is equal to 6. Which option is correct? Option B. 6 answer is correct. Fine. Okay. Now 13. Question number 13. Sub question 13. And the question is. In the given diagram, AC is the diameter of the circle and angle ADB, angle ADB is equal to 35 degree. Find the value of X. The degree measure of X is, we have to find out the value of X. We have to find out the value of X. Alright? Okay. It is given in the question that AC is a diameter. AC is a diameter and you know uh, a very important property. Angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. So because AC is a diameter, so this angle, angle ABC will be 90 degree. Angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. See again I am saying this is an MCQ so you can write down directly. Uh, having a look you uh, see the question and directly you can write down the answer. How? This is 90. If this is 35, so this is also 35. This is 90, this is 35. So this plus this should be 90. Alright, so if this is 35, this should be 55. Because 55 plus 35 gives you 90. So directly you can write down the answer, x is equal to 55. But if it is a 30, if it is a 3 marks question, or if you don't understand, so it's important to understand the question. How will you, how will you guess that the value of x is 55? You need to know the concept. Okay, so I'm explaining uh, that concept. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. It's not required. It's not required. If you know that the value of X is 55, if you orally, uh, you are calculating and you are getting the value of X as 55, it's okay, you can write down. This option is correct. All right, but please try to understand. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. The reason is, if it is a three marks question, again I am saying, then you will write down the reason. Angle in a semicircle is 90 degree, okay. Now angle ACB, angle ACB, this angle, 
this angle. Angle A C B this angle. This angle and this angle. They are the angles in the same segment. You see, this is A B R K B C. This angle and this angle. They are the angles in the same segment. So if this if this is 35, this will also be 35. So angle A C B equal to 35. A C B. This angle is 35 because this is 35. Reason angles in the same segment are equal. That's the reason. Fine. Now if this is 35 and this is 90, you can apply that sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Either you go like that. So you write on x plus 35 plus 90 is equal to 180 and then get the value of x. Or if you understand, this is only 90. So this plus this should be 90. That means x plus 35 is 90. So x is equal to 90 minus 35 is equal to 55. So x is equal to 55. I hope it's clear. All right. So x is equal to 55. The degree measure of x is 55 degree. Option A is correct. Okay. Fine. Now, 14th sub question. And the question is, if the nth term of an arithmetic progression AP is n plus 3, then the first three terms of the AP are nth term, Tn is given, I have written here, see Tn, Tn is given n plus 3, okay. Now if you put n is equal to 1, you will get the first term, we will call it T1. If you put n is equal to 2, you will get t2, second term. If you put n equal to 3, you will get t3, third term, and so on, like that. All right. So if you put n equal to 1, t1 is 1 plus 3, 4. The first term is 4. If you put t n equal to 2, second term, so t2 equal to 2 plus 3, 5. 5n equal to 3, t3, t3 is equal to 3 plus 3, 6. So 4, 5, 6, they are the first three terms. And the question is, this then the first three terms of the AP are, so option C is correct and the three terms are 4, 5 and 6. I think it's very, very clear. Okay? Fine. Now, 15th question, 15th sub-question and the last uh, question of main question number 1. Right? There are uh, 15 sub question for 15 marks and this is the 15th question, 15 sub question. And the question is, the median of a group frequency distribution is found graphically by drawing A, a linear graph, B, a histogram, C, a frequency polygon, D, a cumulative frequency curve. Alright, so we know that the median of a group frequency distribution is found graphically by drawing Ojai. Right, Ojai. The other name is cumulative frequency curve. Or cumulative frequency curve. So the answer is D option is correct. Or cumulative frequency curve. And I am telling you the other name is Ojai. But here it's given a cumulative frequency curve. Cumulative frequency curve. All right. It's written in full. I have written in short. Cumulative frequency curve. So that's the answer. 15 sub question. D option is correct. And the correct option is a cumulative frequency curve. Or the other name is Ojai. But this is not given. I'm just giving you uh, additional information. Okay. So I hope everything is very, very clear. So in this way we completed all the 15 MCQs of question number 1. Fine. I hope everything is very very clear. Okay then. Thank you so much. Thanks.